All right, back again with another one. Um, I intended to do this one yesterday, but I forgot. But um, so uh, DKM, shout outs to him, posted a uh, snippet video yesterday of Big Yank. Um, and if y'all don't know, Big Yank is uh, Zoe, I believe. I think this is Grandpa. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Big Yank was talking at the Drew League and basically was uh, having a conversation with some people about, you know, Lonzo, Jello, and Melo. And the topic of it was, he was basically saying Jello ain't been there because he in Charlotte because it's possible he may get to play on Charlotte. He might get signed to Charlotte. So he's been out there working out, doing work with them. So that's why he ain't played in the Drew League yet. Lonzo, and I guess this also includes Melo, but he specifically said Lonzo can't play uh, in the Drew League yet until the season is over. But, you know, basically, you would have heard, too, that means Melo can't either. So that means when the season is over, they can officially go and play. So the season should be over as soon as the finals is over within, like, the next week or two. Uh, there'll still be a couple weeks of uh, Drew League games left, so we can expect to see Jello, Melo, and Lonzo playing for Team Triple Bs in the Drew League. So we just got to wait. We just got to wait. And to my knowledge, um, I know... Triple B's in the Drew League lost one game, and they're being coached by LeVar. They, they've lost one game. I don't know if they played last week, but if they did, they should be like 0-2, I think. I'm trying to remember. I'm doing this off the top of my head. But I know for sure they lost the first week because in the first week, I was sitting there looking at the score, um, and I noticed that they put up like 33 points in the fourth quarter. And I was like, God damn. You know, they was – Steadily, 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 but in the fourth quarter, it's just it's it. The score to me just was like maybe they ran them down and they got tired, and so they caught up. But the score was like eighty six to eighty five when it was like all said and done. They barely lost that game, <clears throat> or eighty four to eighty five. Either way, it was one point difference. But my thing is okay if they've lost a game or two without the ball boys, and then let's just say. In about two weeks or so, the ball boys come back. You know, the school, they could be one and two, one and two, one and three, zero oh and three, zero oh and four. And then the ball boys come back, and they start hooping, and they start winning. Do y'all know what that's gonna do for like the ball boys just in general, and the NBA going into next season? <clears throat> Number one, let, let's start with Jello. If Jello is hooping with his brothers, that means that's NBA level talent, and then, and this also applies to all the other teams too that that got NBA players on them. They can't play either. So one, he's playing against other NBA talent and with NBA talent. So if he's hooping next to him and he looks good, you gotta kind of maybe want to take a look at him. Maybe you might sit there and say, "Well, damn, he playing with Lonzo and he averaging Lonzo and Melo. He's averaging like twenty four points a game." Granted, you might say, okay, he's not, you know, in the NBA. Some of the guys may not be in the NBA, but some of them are. But, you know, let's just say James Harden or Ben Simmons is out there playing in a game or something, and he's putting up points or something on them or something. You might be like, okay. And I know James Harden is bad because he don't play defense, but fuck it. You know, say Ben Simmons is out there, and he's able to score on Ben Simmons. You might be like, Maybe we should take a look at, you know, Jello Ball. But let's put that to the side because that's conjecture. That's fantasy. That's just like, that's uh, fantasy porn. Okay. Outside of that, <clears throat> if LeVar's coaching these boys and they playing Chino Hill style ball and they come into the Drew League and they like had a losing record before they come in, but like, let's just say they start winning out the rest of the games, the publicity. That is about to happen between Lonzo and Melo and Jello is gonna be off the charts, number one. But it's the it's the thing that's gonna to matter to me is the way they do it. Peep game. So let's say Lonzo goes out there, Lonzo gets one on one matchup, and he's rocking and shaking, and he just dropping niggas left and right. And you a team that's look that's thinking like, okay, you want to play like, okay, let's just imagine. You know, we see Triple B's out there. We got Zach Levine getting caught in the stands or something to support Lonzo, right? And you see, you know, Lonzo giving it to guys. It's going to be like, yo, 
Where was this during the regular season? And some teams going to be like, that dude can actually hoop his ass off. So, it's going to look good for him, potentially, for contracts. And if it's going to look good for him for contracts, I got to imagine that if Charlotte's thinking about taking Jello and they see Lonzo out here hooping, and it's, let's just see if Melo looks even better off ball, you might sit there and think, nigga, we might need to move some pieces to get Lonzo and Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Now, I personally don't want to see him in Charlotte. Even with Jello and Melo, I don't want to see him in Charlotte. But I'm just, I'm, you know how, you know how stuff go. This shit would blow up on Twitter. And you already know, the minute all three of them step on the court, it is going to trend on Twitter. Mark my words. The minute they step on the court, it is going to trend on Twitter. And let them get out to like a 20 to 2 run to start the game. It is going to catch headlines. I don't think ESPN will be able to deny it and, and not report on it. I'm just saying. But this is something to keep your eyes on. This is really something to keep your eyes on. Because I know, uh, what's his name, Chris, John Chris Johnson Hoops and the rest of them, they was just saying, hey, it's time to start these offseason workouts again. So we're going to start seeing the workout videos with Lonzo and some of these other guys. Maybe even LaMelo. Maybe LaMelo links up with Lonzo and they go train together. And so all of that, Along with the G League, I mean the uh, Drew League stuff, this is going to be interesting theater for the next couple months. We just entered July. Today is July 1st. What we're going to have is a very tight and quick offseason. Draft is going to be sometime around the end of the month, probably a week or so later. Free agency starts in August. Then training camp start a couple weeks later, but also in between all of that, you got the um, summer league. And so Jello might get on a team, especially if he gets on Charlotte, he might play, and LaMelo might opt to play in Charlotte on that team just to play with his brother. Um, it, it's going to be a real tight turnaround. And they, Oh, by the way, the Olympics too. So some of these guys like Katie, Book, and the rest, they're going to be overseas hooping too. That's something to keep in mind as well. But it's going to come in hot and heavy. As soon as the final's over, you're going to hear combines. You're going to have draft. Then you're going to have summer league. and Well, free agency and summer league. And then you're going to have training camp starting late August, early September. NFL season kicks off too, but we'll put that to the side. Uh, by the way, I'm a Saints fan. If you guys are wondering, I'm, you know, that's my team. I like football, but just not on the same level as basketball. Um, then you get, you know, contracts, trades and stuff, all that stuff going to affect a whole lot. You know, you got some guys that got injured in playoffs. They may not be there for the start of the season. Some will. This is going to be interesting. Prepare, prepare for rumors, prepare for... Bullshit, it's going to be a lot of stories breaking between now and the end of this month and even more so going into free agency. This is coming around hot and heavy. Most of these guys have been out for at least a month and a half, two months. The regular season ended back in May. Here we are in July. Playoffs are getting ready to wrap up. Clippers just got eliminated. You know, Kawhi got hurt. He hasn't had to have surgery, so maybe he'll be ready for the regular season. And the report just came out that the Mavericks, my Mavs, and Miami are going to pursue him hardcore. If that's the case, he's probably going to decline his option, which isn't a bad thing. Don't assume because he declined it, he's leaving. He could choose to resign with the Clippers, seeing how they got to the conference finals without him. And we're two games away, essentially, from being in the finals. He could just be, hey, it's time I get my money. You know, let me go ahead and opt out. And then resign a bigger, longer deal and, you know, lock in, you know, my money. Or he could just say, fuck it. I've had enough. Peace. But either way, this is going to be very interesting. Keep your eyes on it. Uh, don't trust everything you hear or see. But, you know, at least take a look and verify if any of that is valid or from a valid source. But that's all I really got for y'all. I want y'all to have a good one. Peace. Oh, by the way. If you want to see the video, I liked it on my uh, Twitter, Black J Strokes. Just go look at my likes. It's right there. Y'all have a good one. Peace.